Good morning. So today, didiscuss ko sa inyo kung paano ba ang joint variation. So joint variation is the third kind of variation, third form of variation. So ang una yung direct, then inverse, and then joint variation. Now, so joint variation is the improved version of direct variation na kung saan um, it is the comparison of three or more variables. So hindi lang siya basta dalawa na na kinukupi, tatlo or higit pa si joint variation but still um si para siyang direct na kung saan they go in the same direction that as one quantity increases the product of the other two quantities also increases okay so the general form of joint variation is y is equal to kx c kung saan si k siya po yung ating constant of variation and yung y, x, and z, sila po yung mga variables na binigayin. So, this, they are just the representation of the different variables. Kasi yung iba, pwedeng a, b, and c na ginagamit. Now, paano um, itong formula na to, or paano ang gagawin natin if the value of k is missing, the value of x, and the value of z is missing? Si dito, y lang ang binigay. y is equal to k, x, z. So, imamanipulate lang natin itong formula na to para makuha natin. Now, let's start with K. Para masolve si K, ganito lang yung tip ko sa inyo. Kung sino yung nakahiwalay, siya yung nasa ibabaw or numerator. And then, yung mga katabi niya, that will be your um, denominator, X, Z. Ganun lang po siya. And then, if X is missing, um, ganun lang si Y na nakahiwalay sa ibabaw, and then K, Z sa ilalim. And if Z is missing, si Y ang nasa ibabaw, and then K, x yung nasa ilalim. So, these are the formula na gagamitin natin in order to solve for the unknown value. But before that, let's have first um, how to translate. Mahalaga na malaman natin kung paano mag-translate ng isang statement into a variation equation. And we're going to use the value of k for the constant of variation. So, let's start with the first one. Pag mag-translate tayo ng isang joint variation statement, ganito lang yung gagawin. Yung unang letra ang binigay, automatic siya na yung nakahiwalay na A. And then narinig mo yung varies, so equals K na agad yon Jointly, pag sinabing jointly, ibig sabihin pantay-pantay lahat. Yung B and C, isusulat mo na lang. So this is the equation or of the first given. A is equal to KBC. Next, M varies jointly as N, so M agad varies jointly, so equals k, lagi, lagi may k, as n, and the square root of p. So this time, hindi lang siya basta p. Ang hiningi, square root of p. Paano ba ang square root? Square root of p. Yun lang yung ilalagay natin dito. Square root of p. So this is now our equation for the second variation. And lastly, the electrical voltage v, o yun yung unang binanggit, v, varies jointly, as the current I, so yung I, and the resistance R. So this is the formula or the equation V is equal to KIR. Next. So let's have, ito na, solving na tayo. If Y varies jointly as X and Z, and Y is 30 when X is 5 and Z is 3, find Y when X is 13 and Z is 2. So gagawin lang natin, maggagawa lang tayo ng barrier Tapos, sulat natin yung first set of given. So, ano yung una? Y is 30, X is 5, and Z is 3. Yan. So, tandaan ha, Y yung bar y varies jointly, so Y yung na doon sa nakahiwalay. The second set of given, sabi, find Y. So, we're going to solve for the value of Y when X is 13 and Z is 2. So, to solve for y, kailangan muna natin ng value ng k. Paano masolve natin? Para masolve ang k, kagamitin natin yung first set of given, na kung saan ang formula, k is equal to y over x, z. So, ano yung y natin? 30. Ano yung x natin? 5. Ano yung z natin? 3. Ayan, dito siya nang galing lahat. Magiging 30 over 15, and that is 2. So, the value of k is 2. So, 2 din dito. Now, we will be using this set of values to solve for y. E di ba ang y ay equals kay k, x, z? Palit lang natin, y is equal to ano yung k? 2. Ano yung x natin? 13. 
at ano yung z natin? 12. Ay, ano yung z natin? 2. 2 yung z. Ayan, so nagkamali lang. Z is 2, so y is equal to the product of the 3 numbers, 2 times 2, 4 times 13, that's the, uh, the answer is 52. So y is equal to 52. Okay, next example, last. A is in joint variation with B and square of C. When A is 144, sulat natin, A is 144, B is 4, and C is 3. Ito yung first set of given natin. Then what is the value of B? B is missing when A is 24 and C is 4. So syempre kailangan natin ng K. Sir, paano yan? A, B, C yung binigay. Di ba alam natin na ang equation ng the general is y is equal to kxz. Ngayon, papaltan lang natin yung representation lang yan. Yung unang letra, siya yung a. Yung k natin as is, kasi constant yun. With b, yung b natin, siya yung x. Paltan lang natin. And yung z natin, sabi dito, square of c. So, hindi siya basta silang. Siya po ay dapat naka C squared. So, dito siya ay C squared. Pag pinaltan ko lang ng letra na represent. So, in order for us to solve for K, di ba alam natin na ang formula ay Y over XZ. Paltan lang natin siya ng representation, yung corresponding na yan dito. So, magiging ang Y natin ay A over ano yung X natin B, tapos C squared dito. Pinaltan ko lang. So, A. And then, ano yung A natin? 144 over, ano yung B? 4. Ano yung C? 3. Tapos, may nakalagay na squared. Kasi C squared. And it will become 144 over 4 times 9. It equals 144 over 36. And the answer is 4. So, the value of K here is 4. Next, we are going to solve for B. Diba? Ang B natin... Um, or di ba, ang B, ang representation niyan ay X. So, kung kukunin natin yung sa formula natin kanina, di ba, ang X ay um, Y over KZ. So, pagpapalta natin, so magiging P is equal to, ano yung representation ng Y? A. Ano yung K natin? K pa din. Ano yung Z natin? C squared. So, magiging B is equal to, ano yung A natin na given na bago? 24 over Ano yung k? 4. Ano yung c squared natin? So, magiging 4 squared. So, magiging 24 over 4 times 16. It will become 24 over 64. Now, since fraction po siya, isi-simplify lang natin yon yung 24 and 64 by dividing it to the GCF or the highest number that can divide both 24 and 64, that's 8. So, this will become 3 over 8 nung dinipay. So, this is the value of B. So, ganun lang po yung pagkuhan ng unknown. Susundan nyo lang yung mga formula. Okay? So, that's it. Thank you for listening. So, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Okay? Bye!